Hi and welcome to this tutorial video about the Advanced Elements plugin for Elementor. I will demonstrate how you can use the Advanced Elements plugin with the Elementor template. In this example I have created a cafe custom post type and a lot of ACF fields. Go from an empty boring cafe page to an information rich page using Advanced Elements widgets and dynamic tags. This tutorial will cover dynamic tags, text fields, repeating image box, price list, repeating backgrounds, and using nested repeater fields with templates. Let's get started. First things first. Here we have the boring cafe page. It only has a short description text. Now let's take a look at the ACF fields I have created previously. As you can see, we have tabs with groups of standard ACF field and repeater fields such as opening hours and a list of pictures of food. We also have a nested repeater field with our price menu. It's a repeater field with two subfields. First is a text field used as a category title and the second a repeater field with our price information. Let's create the Elementor single template for our custom post type. We'll call it Cafe. Now that Elementor has loaded, let's add a header section with a feature image, the post title and the Cafe description. Next step is to add some cafe information. I'll add a two column section and give the column some headlines. Now we will add some cafe information content. We will be using ACF text widget to display cafe location and phone number. As you recall, we had a repeater field with opening hours connected with our cafe, and we will use the price list widget to display it. After it's added, we select our opening hours repeater field and subfields and style the widget. But only opening hours doesn't bring visitors. Let's add some pictures of food as well. First we add a repeating image box widget and set up the images repeater field and subfields. And now we style it. In order for our template to be used correctly, we have to set up the display conditions. And now it's time to preview our cafe page. Doesn't that look much better than what we had? Now it's time to design our price menu. Let's go back to our template and add a headline. And when that is done, we will create a price menu template. We will create a section template and call it Cafe Price Menu.
And now let's add some content to our template. Let's start with a heading. Also, I almost forgot, we need to configure the preview settings. Choose the correct page you want to preview and the repeater field you want to use. We do this so the correct repeater subfields are loaded, as you will see in a bit. Sometimes it requires a refresh or two for the previous settings to be loaded correctly. And now we will add the price list widget and select the detected price menu repeater field. It might require a refresh again. So let's select the correct repeater field. And now we can configure our price menu, or rather price list. And we will change the heading to use the dynamic repeater subfield. And now we have uh, set up our repeater template. Let's go back to our cafe template and configure our price menu widget. We will add the repeater with template widget. Here we select our repeater field and also select the template we just made. As you can see, the repeater fields are rendered correctly with both the main and the nested repeater fields. And if we preview, it is also rendered correctly. But this is a bit boring, so let's add some images to our price menu. I'll add a new column, and there I will set the background image. I'll use the repeater image subfield and configure the background settings so it's displayed correctly. The thing is, when using a background image, you'll need to use some content in the column as well, or else it's not rendered correctly. So we'll add a spacer widget. And now we can see our image. Let's go back to our cafe page and see how it looks. As you can see, it's rendered, but it doesn't look very good, so we'll end edit our repeater with template settings. I'll make it so it's just one column instead of two columns. And now we shall preview again and see if it looks much better. And here is the finished product. It looks much better than the empty, boring page we started out with. I hope you have learned something about Advanced Elements plugin, and don't forget to subscribe.